Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Here's a quick tutorial for you today on how to use up those larger sheets of paper to make yourself a heart-shaped gift box. Now this one here, which has the fuller shape at the back, so it has the tab there, this is a no glue gift box, lid or base. You can do the same for both. Uh, this one here, I've shown you how to use a little bit of glue just on the inside to create the full heart shape. So I've created one for the base and one here for the lid. The two fit together absolutely beautifully and it's a fantastic way of giving a gift, whether it's anniversary, wedding, Valentine's or something else. Uh, have fun with this with different coloured papers, different patterns and different themes and I'd love to see your projects afterwards on my social media. That's Lou Collins Designs or here on YouTube as Paper Crafting with Lou Collins. So I'm going to create this box from a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or paper. Um, you don't need to worry about whether it's floral on both sides, just concentrate on the one side because we're going to be folding this in such a way that the one side will be seen both inside and outside of the box. So the first thing we're going to do is a little bit like origami. We're actually going to fold this piece of paper or cardstock into quarters. So fold it in half that way and then fold it in half the opposite way as well by turning it 90 degrees and open it up so we've now got a cross and then we're going to do the same again corner to corner so fold it in half diagonally too now if you want to whilst you're folding you can take a scoring tool and just really strengthen those lines and make them nice and sharp this isn't essential because I do go around the box afterwards and sharpen those lines up then but sometimes it's easier to do it as you go so now we have a cross, both diagonally and straight, vertically and horizontally. So we're going to work with this diagonal and we're going to bring the bottom corner up to the centre here. And you've already got some uh, lines, score lines here, or fold lines here that you can follow. So we're going to bring that corner into the centre and then we're going to fold this again so this bottom line is going to come to the centre too. And this is now a couple of layers of cardstock. So you might want to now be thinking about using your bone folder or your scoring tool to just secure those to keep that nice and sharp. Then we're going to come and do exactly the same on the other side, bringing that bottom corner up and then that line at the bottom. And as you can see, that should all line up nicely there. And you can see now how as you fold everything in, the outer the outer pattern here is now starting to come onto the inside as well. Now we're going to open everything right back up again, turn it 90 degrees and repeat exactly what we've just done on the other side. Now rather than opening this all the way up, we're just going to open it so that we've got the two center points in the middle and we've got these two side pieces like so okay it's almost like um like a little boat there so we're going to open it like this now what i suggest you do is take some fingers pop those into there to hold these triangle pieces down and with your thumbs if you just press into the side here that will start to bring that triangle up as you can see the triangle nearest you comes up so then you want to just grab that and push that up and over the edge of the box there. Okay, we'll do that again in a minute on the other side. Let's just pop that down. You've already got a fold there. And as you can see, that then means that triangle has filled in that excess. So you're bringing this triangle up and over and into the centre whilst pushing the ends in. So again, put my fingers in the middle. Just push my thumbs into the corners here and you can see that then starts to lift up the end and we just bring that up and over the lip of the box there the side of the box and push that down now this is where i go round and i re-strengthen all my score lines again all those fold lines i'm just going to go back over them with my bone folder working my way around and pinch these corners as well just to make them nice and sharp now at this stage, unless you've got a pattern on the base of your box that's a particular, um, particular pattern, so it needs to go a particular way up, 
it doesn't matter which corner you now work with however if you've got a pattern say this was a floral and this way was up or say this way was up you'd need to work on this being the corner that we're going to work with now the top corner okay so just bear that in mind look at your pattern if you need to now this is pretty generic i don't need to worry which corner we're using but i think because we've got some lovely florals here i think i'm going to work on this top corner now and when i mean work on it all i'm going to do is just pull out the sides of the corner that i want to work with and push the corner in now your paper your cardstock can kind of feel like it's crumpling a little bit you're just pushing the outer corner in okay and hopefully you'll see you'll feel when that corner has gone in as far as it has now this corner needs to come into the middle and when it's in the middle there you should find that everything lines up with some score lines that are halfway along each of the edges and you've got a triangle here as well there we go now again I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to strengthen these lines so that I'm happy with everything just pushing down and making sure that I've actually now got a heart shape now this is the base of my box or the lid of my box and I'm happy to keep it like that for now I'm going to remain with it just like this and I'm going to create my lid now my lid is going to come from the same type of cardstock I'm looking at this green because alongside these florals this green works really well so this again I'm going to re remake this exact same heart shaped box ever so slightly smaller so I'm going to take a paper trimmer you may prefer to use scissors or you may prefer to use um, a craft knife and steel rule and I'm just going to take a small amount and I'm talking about half a centimeter a few millimeters off from each or two of the edges so the length and the width of a 12 by 12 piece of paper now you may not want to start with a 12 by 12 you could start with something smaller to create a smaller box if you've got larger you might want to start with a larger square but it must always be a square so make sure you have two of the same size squares of paper and then on the second one which will be your base just take a sliver off of the length and the width Now all I'm going to do is fold this again in exactly the same way as we did the first one. So for this one, I'm just going to speed through the folding process. Just while we're here, this also makes a fantastic no glue square gift box. So you can pop a little bit of glue or a base in there if you want to, to secure everything. But once you've gone in with your bone folder and strengthened all these edges again, you really have no need for it. And before you create your heart shape, if you do a lid and a base of similar sizes, again, with the uh, base being ever so slightly smaller, you're going to have a fantastic, very quick gift box to make there. But we're going to make this into a heart shape the same way as we did with our first one so again we're going to take our corner push out you can just see halfway along each of the lines we actually have a score line you'll notice that on yours you've got a score line there you want to push those out and just push the corner right just push it right in you may like I say you may need to crumple it a little bit but you want to be pushing that corner in once you've created your base, your base should fit just inside of your lid as it's ever so slightly smaller, like so. So then we've got our heart-shaped gift box. Now, if you want to make this a true heart whilst closed, it's very easy, but this is where we will need a little bit of glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down these two excess pieces here between the heart. I'm just going to take my scissors down the centre, just down here, like so. I'm actually going to open this heart up slightly and push those cut lines in, and then lift out again. And you'll see you've just tucked 
that heart inside. So now we just need to apply a little bit of glue along the edge here to make that into a true heart shaped box. So now with those side pieces just glued in underneath, as you can just see, I've glued them to the side panel of the heart on each side, just there rather than in the lid. Um, that's the only piece of glue I've used for this and that is completely optional. You can remain with your heart shaped box like this, absolutely no glue whatsoever. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more paper crafting tutorials, that's stamping, die cutting, uh, paper folding, please do subscribe to my channel below.